Hi guys, welcome back to Nerd Chic. Uh, this is Dustin Hedrick, and today I'm going to be talking to you um, on this fourth tutorial about uh, Google Search Engine, about how to use it if you're a student, especially high school and college students. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so this all originated from a question I got. How do I best search Google for things and narrow down searches in Google? Google's ginormous. So the first three episodes on this, I actually, or tutorials and hacks, I actually shared with folks how to use Google for um, different kind of search. If you need to know about operators and all that kind of stuff, you've got to go listen to those <clears throat> and then come back to this tutorial. Now, if you are a student and you're utilizing Google, the first thing I want to tell you is don't do what everybody wants to do, and that is go to Wikipedia and use it like it's an encyclopedia. Wikipedia says it's the free encyclopedia, but it is not the free encyclopedia. Wikipedia is run by folks, and they are not um, set apart by any kind of scholarly way from their work. So please do not use Wikipedia. Don't source it. Don't cite it. It's not reliable. However, there are sources in the internet that are reliable, and we just need to dig in to find how to use Google to, to get those. So let's say we want to find New York Times articles about um, college test scores, but we don't want to look for SATs, and we want to look for a date range of 2009 to 2016. How do we do that? Let's go in and let's start a search. We're going to do it by searching down into NewYorkTimes.com, and so... Don't forget, don't put a space in there. It's going to be site colon nytimes.com. That's the, the actual website we're searching. So we're drilled into that site. We want to search the term college. We want college to be a part of it. See this guy right here? That operator helps us drill down. We want to look for test scores. So test scores is the term we're actually searching. We put it in side of your... Um, parentheses so you've got the site we're searching we're looking for the related to this term college so that little guy right there and then inside of the parentheses we've got test scores because we're looking for the term test scores we don't want to know about SATs right so we're subtracting SATs from our search and then we've got a date range we're looking for articles in so the search I saw was you know 2008 through 2010 and so that that search is going from 2008 to 2010. The two dots give us a range between 2008 and 2010. So we click search. And that's going to bring up all of the articles that fit this information. Again, the site is NewYorkTimes.com, site and colon, and then the website. This little guy right here in college to look for college scores. Test scores is what we're looking for, specifically. We don't want the SATs, so we've taken them out. And the date range is from 2008 to 2010. And we've done that. You can see this one goes to 2013, New York Times, test scores. There you go. So that's the first way we can Google that. So if you're digging into articles from an actual site or a newspaper, you can do that. You can find current news by clicking news. We're not going to do that, but be sure to use your tabs to do that. The next thing we're going to look at is let's look at a report on um, re religions. No, no, no. Let's look at a report on... Um, yeah, let's try religions in America. So file type is an important operator. We're going to do the file type PDF because we want to find PDFs. Again, no space. So file type colon, and then the file type you're looking for, PDF. Let's do um, religions. Religion. And then I want to drill down, and I want to find a specific word in the title. And we can put in title as an operator, colon. So the word I want to look for in the title is change. I want to see all the articles that have to do with change. And then I'm looking for Americans, different kind of Americans. It could be different, um, nation, different um, backgrounds in America, different um, culture types. I put Americans because... It does matter if it's singular or plural. So again, look at this. File type PDF. We're looking for the word 
religion, that's the term, in the title that's related to religion. We want to find out the change that's going on. And then we want to look for it in Americans. Here we go. And we got a wild card for Americans. That's a wild card for that. Look at this. We found climate change, religious change, change in spiritual practice. All of these are changes. We can drill down into that and find even more specifics. So in this, we use file type. We used in title as an operator, and we used the wild card so that it could be Native Americans, the cultural Americans, whatever. That's what we're doing. Now, this is where it gets exciting. I want to show you Google Scholar. If you're a student out there, you need to know Google Scholar. Google Scholar is power on the web. This is really going to help you. Google Scholar is at scholar.google.com. I'll put the link in the description. You can see you've got my library, my citations. You can put alerts, metrics, settings, all kinds of stuff in here. I'll do a whole other resource on how to actually fully utilize Google Scholar another day. It's going to be another tutorial. But for now, we're just going to see how we can do a Google inside of Google Scholar. I want to look for papers about um, the New Testament by Dr. Bart Ehrman. And I want to drill down and make sure that it's the right Bart Ehrman. So I'm going to use his initials in it. And the way I'm going to do that in Google Scholar is I'm going to actually use the author operator. Author. See that? Author. Ehrman. So Dr. Ehrman was one of my old professors back in the day. We used to go head to head all the time. So it's fun to use him. I'm going to look for Testament because I know he's going to have stuff out there. I'm looking for specifically New Testament. I'm going to start with a more broad search and then drill in just like I always talk about in my tutorials. So his initials are, because I want to make sure I get the right one, Bart D. Airman. So I'm going to put B.D. Airman in quotes to make sure I get the right guy. If you had another author you wanted to search and you knew the article was going to be by two authors, you could put the first author here and the second author in quotes, and that would do the same thing. Now I'm going to search. Here comes Google Scholars stuff. It searches down into books. You see that book? citation. Don't you love citations? That's what you need. Book and citations. When you get into here and you get one book that has information by one author, be sure to drill into bibliographies. Bibliographies are king. Utilize your bibliography students and then go search for more books. Once you find one thing on your topic, you can drill into the bibliography, you can drill into citations, you can go and find more stuff on the web by searching those terms. This is how I dig into stuff right now when I search Civil War, genealogy, and all that kind of stuff I do currently. All right, so that's Google Scholar. That's a basic level. I will put another tutorial link in here later when I do a fuller tutorial. Back to Google. Other Google tricks that you can use, students. Be sure to use definitions. Define. Let's define metaphysics. So I use the define operator with define colon no space metaphysics. Now Google's going to define metaphysics for me. Here's Google's definition. So definition is great. Don't forget your calculator in Google. So let's, let's do a complex equation here. Look at this. This is really complex. Right there. Complex equation. Let's let them do it for us. Oops. It didn't take my second term. Here we go. Complex equation, boom. You get your complex equation in there, and look at that. The calculator's there. You can utilize the calculator. It's a function of Google. Isn't that great? Unit conversions. I've talked about these before, but I want to talk about it now because unit conversions are important. So let's go 10 miles, 2 kilometers. See that? Then you've got your unit converter in here. You can do all kinds of conversions inside of Google. So students, this is really powerful stuff. Area. Data transfer rate, energy, frequency, fuel economy, mass, pressure, speed, temperature, time, volume. All conversions inside of Google. Powerful, powerful stuff. If you need to go between your different windows, don't forget. You want to go between windows or you want to go through applications. Command on your Mac and tab will switch between applications. And then command and that squiggle mark that we used before, it will go between windows. If you want to take a screenshot, don't forget, man, these are important. So I'm on this page. I need to take a screenshot. I do this all the time for taking down information. Command, Shift, and 3 takes a full screenshot. You just heard it there. Command, Shift, and 4. I can screenshot an area. Boom. 
I just screenshot that. I have a drop into my Dropbox. You see that sharing happen right there. Um, let's see. When you want to find something on a page, say that you're inside of research, don't forget. This is for Mac. Command F will search a specific term on a page. You can drill down that term. See how it brings that up right there? I can search that term if I'm looking for it on a page, but I'm not. There's math. See how that works, guys? Do not forget. If you want to zoom in or zoom out, Command plus is to zoom in. Command minus is to zoom out. And folks, that is it for my helps for you students. I'm going to put some of this stuff in the information um, of the description, and I hope this really helps you. Again, listen to this tutorial again if you need to. Put it, open it up, run it beside your um, work as you do it. You can play this over and over and over again and utilize these resources as you are doing your studies. I hope this really helps you. Thanks for tuning in to Nerd Cheek. Don't forget, subscribe to our channel to find out other great stuff that's coming out. We've always got new stuff coming out. And tell us in our comments or messages stuff you're looking for help on, and we will help you get it done. Uh, give us a like here, and again, have a nerdy, awesome day.